Howdy, everybody. Don't know how to begin this. My heart is so, so extremely heavily burdened by everything going on in the world. By the many false prophets, the many fake preachers, the many antichrists, not the antichrist, he's on earth but he has not revealed himself yet, but I think that will be done very shortly. You know, in several videos, the last three or four or five months or six months, I have uh, mentioned several times that you can see people that for years have been straddling the fence, not going to the dark side, not going to the light side, but straddling the fence. Well, friends, the fence straddlers are moving, and most of them are going to the dark side. That bothers me a lot. I know prophecy said it would be that way. I know that. But for me to see it happening with my own eyes and my own heart, it hurts. I have friends that for years I thought was Christian. Falling off the fence, going to the dark side. That burdens me. It burdens me so much. And I try to talk to them, and they have been so deceived that they cannot see the light. That too is in prophecy. Let me read you a few verses. I've got some from the book of Matthew, part of the Sermon on the Mount. And I've got some from the Apostle Paul in his second letter to the people of Thessalonica. And as I read these, I'm going to be pouring my heart out too. We need, we few true Christians really, truly need to be praying for the fence straddlers, straddlers, whatever they are. Do you straddle a fence or do you spraddle a fence? I don't know. They never should have been up there in the first place, but many were, many, many millions were. And now most of them, from my observation, are falling off to the dark side. How can somebody ride the fence for so long and then choose the dark side to go to. I'll tell you why, because the Bible says that many, even the elect, if possible, would do that. And they're doing it. I just pray that during the tribulation period, they don't continue their foolishness and that they become saved during that time. It's going to mean they get their head chopped off. But since so many of them are so scared, so afraid now, Can you imagine 
the feeling you'd have if you knew if you did something you'd get your head chopped off. So they're probably not going to do that either. If they're afraid. Of what has killed a few people in the world the last couple of years. If they're that afraid of that happening to them which is such a small, small, tiny percent of deaths, I don't know why people are running so scared. I don't. I'm not scared at all. I had stage four cancer in two organs, told I had four to five months to live. I wasn't scared. If I get the virus, I'm not going to be scared. Let me get something to prop the back of this tripod up a little. There, that's better. Anyway, let me start reading here. And I'll talk some more. Because my heart is burdened and I got to talk. Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man deceive you. Look at all the deceivers just here in America that have popped up the last couple of years. They're everywhere. All of a sudden, they're everywhere. You know, if I'm not careful what I say right here, YouTube will throw this thing out. If I'm not careful what I say over at Facebook, Facebook will throw it out. And I tell the truth. I do hours and hours and hours of research. I don't go by what people post on Facebook. I don't, that's not where I get my information. I go by actual research that I have done. And I know several other people that have done extensive amounts of research, hours, hundreds of hours of research. And I believe them, but I don't believe just everything I see posted because most of what's out there is lies. It's deceit. There are so many deceivers. Bill Gates is one of the top ones. I better behave or I'm going to get this video and this video needs to go out because I want souls one to Jesus. I want people that are straddling that fence to fall over to the light side and become a servant of the Lord because the harvest is plenty and it needs the harvest is ripe and the laborers are few. We need laborers, true Christians, not these fake fluffy pretend Christians when everything's going good and then when things start going bad, they hop over to the dark side. That's not what we need. We need real, honest to goodness, strong Christians sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ because time is very extremely rapidly running out just as prophecy just as you're fixing to see here from God's holy word said it would be like <clears throat> let me continue Jesus said take heed that no man deceive you for many shall come in my name saying I am Christ and shall deceive many and many are. They're all over the place. People on YouTube saying they are Jesus. People on Facebook groups, there are Facebook groups of people that say they are Jesus, that they are the Messiah. <clears throat> there are people that preaches that they are the Messiah. It's crazy. The, the whole world has gone crazy. Our country has gone crazy. Europe has gone crazy. Especially Europe and America. 
other countries have too, but especially Europe and America. And then I'm going to skip down. No, I'm not. I'm going to just keep reading. This is all Jesus talking. He says, You shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. See that ye be not troubled. I'm not troubled. Everything's going to work exactly according to God's plan, so why should I be troubled? Why should anybody be troubled? You know, I don't like to see a country at war. But if God is in charge of it all, why do I have to worry about it? I don't. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and you'd have to be blind and comatose to not see that happening all over the place. America is losing allies. One of our allies pulled their, uh, what do you call it, uh, consulate from America because of the wickedness going on in America. It's everywhere. It's all over the world. There will be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Have you been seeing all of that? It's all over the news. And it's not going to get any better. And these are the beginning of sorrows. The beginning. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Many true Christians this is happening to, especially in other countries, in third world countries, where we send preachers, real preachers, real missionaries over there. It's happening. God's word cannot lie. These words have been in his holy word, holy Bible, for many, many years. But we see them happening. They're coming to life now. They're happening just as they were prophesied, just as all prophecy will happen. And then shall many be offended. You got that already. People that have been friends for years are fighting against each other because they are offended by someone's belief. They shall betray one another, and they shall hate one another. I've had some, a couple, the, the last week or two, that I thought their friendship was like gold. It would never end. And because they're scared, they're doing foolish things now, and they hate me. Because I'm telling the truth. Many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. That has happened and it's going to get worse. But there's so many now, so many now, I don't know how it could get worse, but it's going to get worse. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So many out there don't even know what love is. They say they love, and then the next day they don't love, and then the next day they love again, and then the next day they don't love. They don't know what love is. They're only pretenders. He that shall endure unto the end, 
the same shall be saved. And there are not many enduring to the end. The first time real panic comes, they're gone. And the panic right now is nothing to be panicking about. What's about to happen is, can you just imagine how they're going to react then? I can't. Like a chicken with its head cut off, probably. I feel sorry for them. My heart hurts for them. It really does. I don't want people like that. I don't want my friends like that. I don't like people that I have loved for years like that. But they are like that, many of them. And that hurts my heart. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations, and then the end will come. The gospel has been preached in all nations. We're just waiting for the end to come, and it's very, very soon. And what do you think is going to happen in the end? As things progress on and the mark of the beast is introduced if they're afraid of something so minor now imagine the fright they're gonna have when they find out <clears throat> they cannot put gas in their car they cannot put food on their table they cannot buy clothes to wear unless you got the mark Think they're going to resist the mark then? No, because they're too afraid not to. Again, a few will be saved, but not a lot. Not compared to the number of people on earth. That percentage is going to be tiny. And they will get their head chopped off for doing it. Most will take the mark of the beast and I could almost out of, out of my friends who have left fence spraddling to fall over to the dark side I could almost say which ones will take the mark of the beast and that's just about all of them there's one or two that might not but they're so afraid already if they're afraid of the worst calamity that's coming the pandemics, the real pandemics that are coming, they're probably going to go right along for everything that Satan and the, the Antichrist, the real Antichrist, puts out. They're probably going to go right along for it. It's like they have been blinded. Their heart has been hardened. Anyway, let me read what I've got for you here in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 3 and 4. Let no man deceive you. Let no man deceive you. By any means. You know, he could have stopped with let no man deceive you like I paused at. But he didn't. He said, by any means, do not let any man deceive you by any means. And there will be many means used to deceive people. Many means. And most people will be deceived. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, the real Antichrist. The falling away has to come first. The falling away is happening right now, people. Right now the falling away is happening. It's 
So if it happens the way it's written in this book, the revealing of the man of perdition, the Antichrist, is coming very, very soon. And he will have many followers. And if you were here during the tribulation period when he first reveals himself, he's going to be like God. He's going to solve all the problems of the world. People are going to adore him. They're going to love him. They're going to think he's Christ because he solves all of the problems. That Everything that's scaring people, he's going to solve all those problems for a short time. And then who he really is will be revealed. But by then, it'll be too late because you will have taken, or they will have taken the mark of the beast. Once you take that mark, there ain't no turning back. It's all over then. Taking the mark of the beast is signing an, an allegiance to Satan and totally refusing God. Whoso opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, talking about the Antichrist, or that is worshipped, so that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And the people here on earth will think that it is God, or think that it is Jesus, but it won't be. It's going to be the man that's going to take you to hell with him for all eternity, unless you wake up now. You need to wake up now. Stop the foolishness. Stop the foolishness. Stop believing the deceivers of the world. They are antichrists. They are from the devil. They are doing Satan's work, preparing the world for the tribulation, which is right around the corner. And that's all I got. I just, I'm concerned about the condition of this world. Let me prop this thing up some more because I ain't through talking. Well, that was too much. Let me go back to where I was. I'm concerned with the condition of this world. I'm concerned with the souls of my friends. I don't know what else to do. You know, I share the gospel of Jesus Christ, the unadulterated gospel of Jesus Christ. But people are so afraid. They have no faith at all. They say they do, but they don't. When it comes to proving it, they don't have any faith. And all it takes to move a mountain, to literally cause a mountain to crumble, is faith the size of a mustard seed. God gives us that faith, folks. God gives us that faith. And if you want your faith increased from what it is now, ask him and he'll increase it. All it takes is faith in God. And people that say they have it don't have it because they're following after the deceitful antichrist that are already here and they are nothing compared to the one that's about to be here. Well, he's already here. He just hasn't revealed himself yet. I don't think any of my friends that I'm talking about watches my YouTube channel and they have stopped watching my Facebook page where I also share the gospel of Jesus Christ. So they're lost as a goose with no hope unless by some miraculous happening of God they wake up and I don't see that happening. And the Bible says that many will be, be deceived in the end times and, and the Bible says that most people will go to hell. 
I just don't want it to be anybody I know, but it looks like it's going to be quite a few of them, and I don't like that. You know, it makes me feel like I have failed as a servant of the Lord. I don't know what I could have done different. I have always been honest with them. I have always shared the truth from the word with them. I have never lied to them. I've been accused of all kind of things. What I share comes from this book right here. And if they call me a liar, they're calling that book a liar. That's what Satan's people will do. I don't know what else to say, friends. If you're a true Christian, join me in praying for the world. Join me in sharing the gospel with the world. Because there ain't many of us out here. I feel like the Lone Ranger. Because a lot of them that you see on YouTube, they're just as fake as they can be. They are spreading lies, and people believe them. Because they pretend to be a preacher or a teacher. You know, this book says, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. A true Christian needs to be living in this book and staying on his knees now more than ever because the fiery darts are intense the deceitfulness in the world is intense the fright the scaredness in the world is more than it's ever been in my life probably more than it's ever been in the world I don't understand but then again I have faith I have faith I have a lot of faith I have asked God to increase my faith several times and he has I have asked God to help me see sin the way he sees sin and he probably has not granted that totally because if I saw sin the way he does enough that he can basically killed his own son so that we could be saved on the cross at Calvary I probably couldn't stand it but he has showed me sin to the point that it is repugnant to me now and I used to love wallowing in my sin it is repugnant to me now but to the world it's not they love it too just like I used to the world needs Jesus the world needs faith in Jesus more than it needs anything else I always in just about every one of my videos I tell you the world needs Jesus more than it needs anything else let me amend that to read the world needs faith in Jesus more than it needs anything else because with that faith you can move mountains you can be cured of diseases you can be be cured of viruses you can be cured of anything and your fright can be taken away immediately we have nothing to be afraid of a true Christian has nothing to be afraid of because Jesus is fighting our battles for us whatever the battles are Jesus is fighting them for us because he died for us we are precious to him So, I just got a message that my recording stopped. I don't know if this is working or not. Did y'all lose a few seconds there? I got a message that my recording stopped. I don't know if it really did or not. The timer kept going. But anyway, I'll, I'll end this thing. It's right at 30 minutes. I love y'all. I really do. And I pray 
that y'all will join me in getting the gospel out and pointing lost, scared to death souls to Jesus Christ. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and no person comes to God except through him. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. Believing, repenting of your sins, turning away from your sins, that's all you got to do. Jesus did the rest for you. I love you, friends. I am, I have rented a U-Haul trailer. I am loading it. And Saturday, I'm taking off for my new home. I'll talk to you all later.